Hey guys, so a lot of students are trying to find out how do you apply for the CSC scholarship, so I'm going to introduce it here. First, you want to make sure you go to this website, which is campuschina.org. And on this website, you can find all the information about scholarships in China. And this is the official website. There are lots of other websites, but this is the official one. So make sure you apply on this website. I already have an account, so I can just log in here. Uh, so first, before you apply, I really suggest that you make, make it clear about what you're actually applying for and what program you want to study, because it, depending on that, then you'll need to apply in a different way. So I suggest a few resources that you can use to check. So this is a guide which we've written on China Admissions, which has a lot of information about the scholarship application process. So I recommend you have a read of this. And also you want to have a look at the different programs that you can study in China. So I would definitely look at Campus China and then have a look at the different universities in China and the different programs. And you can also have a look at the China Admissions website. Uh, so on this website, you can just have a look through all the different programs that you can apply for. So just a few things that you should know that if you're applying for the Chinese language program, then there's a lot less scholarships. If you're applying for a bachelor's program in English, actually there are no CSC scholarships. So you can't apply for a CSC scholarship. You can only apply if it's in Chinese. And then for master's and PhD, there's a lot more scholarships in English. So if you want to apply for those, you can check out master's and PhD programs. So we have loads of different programs here on China Admissions, so you can ch check out all the different programs. And when you register, uh, we'll ask for your details, such as your grade, academic level, and your age, and your background as well, and then suggest you different programs based on that, that you are eligible to apply to. When you have thoughts about which programs you want to apply to, then you should go to the CSC website. So one thing I need to tell you guys is that right now the border is closed and students can't come to China. And so there aren't actually any scholarships at the moment uh, because of that. And there's also a rule that in China, the scholarship only goes to students who are in China. So if you are not able to come to China, then the scholarship will not be paid to you overseas. So this is also something to think about. And you can also check out some of our updates and videos about when the border will open because currently there is no update about when the border will open. Yeah, so when you have had a thought about which programs you want to apply to, uh, then you can check out this website. And there's basically a, f a few different types of scholarships and you can, you can apply in two ways. One of them is the type A and the type B. And the, t the type A is through an embassy in your home country or some other government bodies or some other institutions. And then the type B is to apply directly to the university and the university will give you a scholarship. Because in these different types of scholarships, basically there is a quota. So some embassies in each country, they will have a quota of a certain number of scholarships every year. And then you say so you need to apply to those scholarships and then they will give you the scholarship and then some universities also have quotas of how many scholarships they can give and so norm they normally give the scholarship to the students who have the highest grades and the, the strongest level so if you're applying for the type a you will also need to know the agency numbers uh, of what to apply to and so you can see a list of the different agency numbers such as the embassies uh, and how to apply so you'll need to know that a bit later Okay, so this, this is also something to be aware of which type of scholarship you'll apply to. And actually you can apply for both. You can apply for type A and type B, so you can create multiple applications and it's possible to do that. So also guys, this is an online application, but it, in some ways it's actually not really an online application because you still need to print all the documents and send them to the university or agency. So if, if you're applying through type A, you'll need to send it to the embassy in your country. If you're applying through type B, you'll need to send it to the university. So how do you apply on the application process? It's kind of pretty simple. It's just a standard application form where you fill out all of the documents here, all of the fields here and fill out your education background and all of your grades and everything like that. If you have any questions about it, you can let me know in the description of this video, but it's all pretty simple. And then when you have done that, you will choose if you're going to apply for the type A or the type B. And then type C is for students who are already in China. So just to confirm that type A is for the students who are applying through the agencies, such as the 
and we'll see in your country. And then the type B is to apply for the university. So you will choose which one of those you want to apply to. And then when you've done that, you can then, and then you can find the link, the number of these agency numbers here on this article. So this link is in the description as well. Then when you've done that, you need to print the application form and prepare all of the documents and then send them to the university or the embassy that you're applying to. Uh, so there's a, like a few different articles and there's some different resources here that you can check out such as this one which has, has a user guide on how to apply if you can't speak in Chinese then it's probably not that helpful uh, but it's kind of pretty similar pretty simple on how to apply to the universities through this form uh, just the main thing that I would be careful of is basically the, the two difficult things is basically to choose the university and the program that you're likely to get accepted into and that's one of the most important things because you want to make the really good choice about which one you're applying for and have a really strong application and the second challenging thing is just to make sure that when you apply all of the documents are really perfect and you apply in a really professional and good way because when you're applying to the university they're probably not going to give you any feedback so you need to make sure that everything is prepared really really well and also another thing that you guys need to think about is say for example when you're applying to the university or the embassy uh, they actually receive loads of applications so I really suggest that you apply as soon as possible before the application process is finishing so that you have a higher chance and also try your hardest to go there in person or try and call them or try and get some feedback from them about your application so that you know that they're actually processing it because otherwise it's very hard to know if it's correct or not and so if, the, if they can give you feedback maybe you can make some changes or you can adapt it to try and make it a bit better or to try and increase your chance of getting accepted. So this is the main information about how to apply, I hope it's helpful and uh, wish you the best for your application process and also the you guys need to be aware that the application process is from uh, normally it is from january to the end of march every year so you you need to be careful to apply on those dates every year uh, and if you're also looking for other scholarships there are different scholarships in universities in china and so you can check out these on different websites it's kind of hard for that for that information to be there isn't really a place where all of that information is available, but you can check it out on China Admissions. We actually have some different we have some information on the programs about which scholarship, which universities have scholarships. So you can also check out some of them here, such as this one. There are some scholarships at MPE, so you can click through and learn more about it as well. And then you can also kind of just searching on Google uh, for more scholarships and try and find the different information about different types of scholarships and then ask people for advice. There's kind of, yes, yeah, so I hope that's helpful and wish you the best in your application.